Hello, in this problem we're being asked to use the midpoint rule with n equals 4 to approximate the area under the graph of this function f of x equals x squared plus 3 from 0 to 2 solution. So the area is approximately equal to the finite sum as i runs from 1 to n of f of c sub i times delta x. And when we use the midpoint rule, basically we're using the midpoint of the intervals. So each c sub i is equal to x sub i plus x sub i minus 1 over 2. All right, so we basically just have to work this out, and then we have the answer. So n is equal to 4 in this problem, and our interval is 0, 2. So our a here is going to be 0 and our b is going to be 2. So our delta x is b minus a over n. But we're told n is 4. So this is going to be 2 minus 0 over 4. That's equal to 2 over 4, which is 1 half. That's really important. So the first thing you want to do in this problem is find delta x. The next thing you want to do is find um, your endpoints so you can find the midpoints. I like to draw a picture. So here's 0. And basically what you do is you just keep adding delta x. So you add it once, and that gets you to 1 half. You add it again, that gets you to 1. You add it again, it gets you to 3 halves. And you add it again, and that gets you to 2. So now we actually have the endpoints for our intervals. And what's really, really nice is that you don't actually have to use the c sub i's in this problem to, to, to work out the c sub i. You don't have to use the formula to work it out. You can, think of the, uh, you can think of these in your head. So the midpoint here between 0 and 1 half is going to be 1 fourth. So that's pretty interesting because now you can think of this as two fourths. You can think of this as four fourths. You can think of this as six fourths. And you can think of this as eight fourths. Right? Because two fourths is one half, four fourths is one, six fourths is three halves, and eight fourths is two. And so the midpoint here will be three fourths. The midpoint here will be five fourths. And the midpoint here will be 7 fourths, right? It's right between 6 and 8, it's 7 fourths. Right between 4 and 6, it's 5 fourths. Right between 2 and 4, it's 3 fourths. Right between 0 and 2, it's 1 fourth. So these are going to be your C sub i's. Now, uh, it doesn't always work this easily. Um, what you can do is you can actually just add them up and divide. So you can do it that way. You can add them up and divide. So C sub 1 is 1 fourth. C sub 2 is 3 fourths, C sub 3 is 5 fourths, and C sub 4 is 7 fourths. Just to show you, just so it's instructive, like say you wanted to find C sub 3, which would be this one. Basically, you would just add up, um, you would add up 1 plus 3 halves and divide by 2. So you would do 1 plus 3 halves over 2, which is 2 halves plus 3 halves over 2 which is basically 5 halves over 2, which is 5 fourths. So it's a lot of work, right? So it really helps if you can just graphically see it and find um, the midpoints. Okay, so f of x here was x squared plus 3. So I'm going to write that down again. So f of x is x squared plus 3. And so our area is approximately equal to but basically uh, the function value at the midpoint uh, times uh, delta x. So we're adding them all up. So it'll be f of 1 fourth plus f of 3 fourths plus f of 5 fourths plus f of 7 fourths. And all of that is being multiplied by delta x, which was 1 half. So it's still pretty messy, even for a simple problem like this, right? So you have all of the f of c sub i's, and you're adding them up. 
And so x squared plus three is our f of x. So the area, let me switch colors here, is gonna be, uh, let's see, one fourth squared plus three. That's gonna be the first one. That's gonna be the first function value we're gonna look at. Plus three fourths squared plus three. Plus plugging in five fourths, we'll get five fourths squared plus three, and then seven fourths squared plus three. And all of this is being multiplied by one half. So this is a huge, like you definitely want to use um, a calculator here. Uh, you don't have to, you can probably do it without one. Maybe let's try to avoid it. Yeah, maybe we should try to see how far we can get without a calculator. So let's uh, simplify these fractions. This is 1 16th plus 9 16th plus 25 16th, ignoring the, th the 3s for now, plus 49 16th. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to be 12. 3 times 4 is 12. And we have a 1 half. All right, now we have to do some addition here. So we have uh, 1 plus 9 plus 25 plus 49. Forgot the 6 there. That's going to be 84 sixteenths plus 12 times 1 half. Okay, this is where I feel defeated. <laughs> I'm going to type it into a calculator. Uh, approximately 8, 8.625. That's the approximate area using uh, the midpoint rule. So um, kind of interesting, interesting problem. Um, it's quite messy. Uh, and again, it could have been messier. Uh, this was definitely an easy way to do it. Otherwise, you have to do this for each one. You have to add them up and divide by two. So it takes a bit of work. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.